uh, question 14 over here the diagram shows two parallel lines okay we can see there's the parallel lines over there and a straight line crossing them and there's your straight line over there write down using letters a to g the angles which is alternate to angle x okay so here's angle x over here what we have we must remember with regards to alternate angles when you have alternate angles you can have a z shape sometimes your z shape produces acute angles like that sometimes your z shape produces obtuse angles like that so what we have to do is identify where these angles are so if i am traveling in this case if i try and get some kind of z shape to, to include x in it it would have to be like this including the x but then to get the z i have to move the other way so we know that b would be alternate to x over there and they are equal and just remember the alternate angles are also always equal the next one is corresponding angle to x which is also equal to x when it comes to corresponding angles we have to remember that there's some kind of f shape so you can have those angles it's almost like a shelf sometimes it can be upside down you can have the bottom of a shelf or it can be this way or it could be the other way so any kind of direction in which it looks like an f so to include x in another angle we have to look at two parallel lines just remember the parallel lines is very important you need parallel lines otherwise you cannot have any alternate or corresponding angles so it's along you have to include both parallel lines so in this case i would say that from this just erase this quickly we can see that the angle that is corresponding must be if i take the center the point it's in the, it's in the left it's on the left hand side of this point if i just draw an arrow you can see it's on the left hand side of this point both arrows are in the same direction and if you find your f you can then draw it from there so that would be d from here